Um, next, we've got this news. I'm sure most of you are aware. Crypto King Sam Bankman Freed faces decades in jail after a guilty verdict. I'm surprised he actually got found guilty, but I think somebody on social media, I think on Twitter said the other day, like, you can steal from the poor, you know, as much as you want. But the moment you steal from rich people, they will make you pay. And he stole from so many rich um, what you would call intelligent people who think highly of themselves were duped by this guy it was no you know there was no doubt they were going to get their lick back and this is probably them getting their lick back so um, he's now facing decades decades in flipping jail and let's kind of watch quickly the report courtesy of MSNBC they did a pretty good video on it we can check it out here Just before our show tonight, we got some breaking news out of another Manhattan courtroom. A jury found former cryptocurrency mogul Sam Bankman freed guilty on all seven counts against him. Prosecutors allege the 31-year-old founder of the FTX exchange used the company as basically a personal piggy bank and built a, quote, pyramid of deceit. Last year, of course, FTX collapsed and Bankman freed was charged with stealing tens of billions of dollars from his customers. After a month-long trial, the jury deliberated for just four and a half hours before convicting him on charges of fraud and conspiracy. Bankman Freed now faces more than 100 years in prison. He's also facing Jesus another trial Christ. on charges including bribing foreign officials, which is scheduled to begin in March. Stephanie Rules, the host of the 11th Hour on MSNBC, as well as MSNBC senior business analyst, and she joins me now. 100 I years in prison. 100 years in prison and he's got another sentencing coming up soon 100 years god damn i gotta say for a relatively complicated fraud you know white collar case where you're looking at, at numbers and books four and a half hours this is on every stunning. count is wow this is stunning that it was so quick and it speaks to the fact that the government rolled up they took his closest confidants his ex-girlfriend who worked for him the top lieutenants in his company they all cooperated with the government and they turned on him and what was stunning was in the last week that sam bankman freed who you know is not necessarily the best communicator doesn't present well chose to take the stand and what did the prosecution do hit him right between the eyes and showed up with receipts mm. they used his own words and his own lieutenant's proof and said no sir this is what you know what's also interesting about the Sam Bankman Freed thing? From what I remember when I watched a few documentaries about it when it first sort of happened, part of the way that he duped everybody and scammed everyone out of their money was that he presented no, he was he basically leaned into how he looked and how he acted. The fact that he looked like the typical um, maverick genius startup type of dude, right? Kind of Asperger's maybe some schism going on there, socially awkward, very frumpy looking, right? Um, just in general, that kind of demeanor, he kind of leaned into it in the same way the other lady did. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. So, um, what I was saying, let me actually, because I think maybe my filters are a bit too high. That's probably why. Uh, let me get this, let me put this down to about an eight. And then let's turn up the thing on this end. My bad. Apologies for the radio silence there. So, what I was saying there was, I think one of the funniest things about the Sam Bankman Freed thing is this. Um, he kind of leaned into his persona and how he looked and the basically awkward, almost frumpy, tismy, spectrumy nature that he has. And people just assume because of the way he looked and acted and sounded and shit, how he carried himself, that he was a quintessential startup maverick genius type of guy. And I guess investors and money men are always keeping an eye out for that next guy because they don't want to be late on the train they want to be you know the first person to kind of back um somebody that may be that the next zuckerberg or whatever coming forward so that's why they all kind of jumped to the chance to basically you know lap behind him and he was basically able to exploit that and um use that to his advantage so big up him for doing that do you know what i mean big up big up big up him absolutely incredible that he absolutely figured that one out man um what is it is it is, is it new is it still messed up what's wrong with it 
What's wrong with the mic? People are saying the mic is still messed up. Is it still messed up? Let me double check. Let me see if I can do my monitor here. Oh, oh, oh. It says cutting in and out. Okay, let me see. One second. Bear with me. <laughs> People are saying the mic fund is so stupid. <laughs> okay, let's just check. Okay. Hmm. I don't think so. I don't think there's an issue. Hold on. Let me just double check. <laughs> Audio is your is. You guys can be so stupid sometimes. I swear to God, man. You guys can be so fucking dumb. Audio <laughs> isn't king. <laughs> Okay, cool. Um, all right, let's put the thing back up again. Nine. Let's do this. Okay, cool. <clears throat> there we go. There we go. Might check one two. Might check one two. Random show settings once again. Hopefully you can hear me there. Hopefully you can hear me. Right. Papa, 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 papa. Okay. Come on, can you hear me? All right, you can hear me. Papa, papa, papa. Right? Can you hear me there? Bapa verse, Bapa verse, Bapa verse, redacted, redacted, redacted. Mexican, Mexican, Mexican. Right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Carne asada, chile on, pico de gallo. Can you hear me? Okay, okay. Carne asada. Yeah? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Great, 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 great. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's just move on from this, man. He's he's in jail. He's fucked. Actually, let's play the rest of this and we'll move on. Let's play the rest of it and we'll move on. Cool. What you did, and that's sort of what people are saying. Right. This almost has the ghosts of Trump. Right? When you think about all the people that the government is rolling up against Trump right now and could What does Trump have to do with this, man? MSNBC is all man. Like get off Trump's dick, bro. Relax. We got Leche Manuel. Appreciate headquarters. you. Headquarters. 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 Honestly, man, fucking MSNBC, man. Like they got Trump's balls and nutsack in their fucking backpacks. Like allow it, man. <laughs> Could they turn to him and say, "No, sir, these are your words. Right. These are the documents." And so the prosecution showed up with the receipts, and boom, in four hours, guilty on everything. That's stunning. Yeah, and I think part of it, I mean, there, there's two things here, right? One is the hubris of testifying for yourself, which usually usually you don't do that, but this sort of idea of, like, I can talk my way out of this, which I think... But that's how he's always seen Yes, and he's, 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 even through this whole thing, he's been talking to reporters, he's been giving interviews, he's like, bro, don't... Okay, during this, he was taking phone calls from me months and months ago, right? I obviously yeah. wanted an interview. Why are you calling him for a woman? You want a piece of that? You want a piece of that Sam Bankman free little ling a ling ling? Why are you calling him for, young lady? Why are you calling him for, Madam No Lips? Why are you calling him for, huh? You want to wrap those no lips around these ling a ling ling? Interview. I would talk to this man on the phone thinking, I can't believe this. Right. But he has always felt like this business, this corporate world, I know better, which is the same thing he felt about politics and every other vertical. He viewed right. people over the age of 40, you and me, uh -huh. useless. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I imagine there were some on the jury. I mean, part of the thing, too, about this case. I, I, I... How much makeup is my guy got on? How much makeup does he have on? And he still looks like that. God damn. You know what? Who are, you know what? This guy kind of looks like in his head. I bet you he he thinks he looks like the guy from SNL. Right? He's probably got that image. In his head, this guy probably thinks he's the guy from SNL. I think the guy that's married to Jessica Alba, I think, right? From SNL. He probably thinks he looks like that in his head, isn't it? <laughs> but he looks like this. <laughs> Prizing as is for a sort of complex case like this. Again, it's not that complex, but uh, to come down so quickly is that the, the, the core of the crime was not complex, right? You, like, okay, you just hit everything. Because people from the outside are like, oh, crypto, I don't get it. No, it's, this isn't about crypto, no. right? It's about stealing. Yoink. It is about saying, <laughs> yes. uh-oh, I'm losing money over here. It's about stealing fucking knocks. Shut up. Here, I got all these customer funds over They've here. I've got deposits. I'm just gonna move, move. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to move A and stick it over to B. 
Right. Ding, ding, ding. You have just explained the, the right. Sam- like, white people love to talk, in it. Let's just, just, just telling, in it. Shut up and report the news, man. So excited to tell. And then he said, and then he did. Like, shut up. Some bankman fraud right there. Right. right. This isn't about how crypto works. The market went up and a margin call. Uh, uh, uh. Right. Yes. If your banker uh, had a problem with sports gambling. Yes. And was That's out exactly to the mob it. and then just decided, well, there's a few thousand dollars sitting in your account. Maybe he could pay, pay off the guy. Gambling banks, we all understand, like, absolutely can't do that. That's essentially the government's case against him. I'm going to defend him for one moment. Yeah. One of the reasons. Of course you're going to defend him. You called him, didn't you? You called him late at night, young lady. You know what you're doing. He did believe his own hype, as everyone else did. Dude. Okay? The biggest names in Do finance. You remember that Super Bowl? The most, it was the, it, right? It's the most insane right? thing I've ever seen. It was the FTX Super Bowl. And I don't just mean uh, Tom Brady and Giselle. Right. You had some of the biggest investors, the most sophisticated investors on Wall Street that could made huge fees investing in this guy. By the way, what's the point of putting him in, in prison? Can we just ask that question? He embezzled all this money. He scammed everybody. He hid it all away. He's probably gave a bit to his parents who have probably hid it somewhere else. They don't get their money back, do they? Do the people that get scammed get their money back? Why is he actually going to prison? What's the point? He, they don't get their money back. The money's gone. He scammed them. Everyone got embarrassed. What's he actually, you know what I mean? Like, what's the point? Right, last year, it was just a, a year ago, plus a few weeks, he spoke at a huge finance conference in New York. Everybody rolled up there wearing suits. That guy showed up in his Dungeons and Dragons look with the yeah. hair, and the place worshipped the ground he walked on. So he believed his <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons look with the hair. <laughs> this woman thinks if you just keep your hair unkempt, because it just hasn't cut it. You look like you played Dungeons and Dragons. That's a pretty good insult, I'm not going to lie. He's Dungeons and Dragons hair. <laughs> His own hype, but so did everyone else, and we shouldn't forget that. I actually, I, you know, in defense of the Dungeons and Dragons, like, I respect a man that shows up like that to a I think he, but he is now, I mean, it's really wild. I mean, talk about whatever. It's a sort of almost a cliche to talk about a meteoric rise and fall, which is a thing that we do in, in our line of work, but wow, meteoric wow. rise and fall. I mean, the guy went... Okay, wow, you guys are boring. Anyway, wow, crime, wow, amazing. Anyway, um, RIP Sam Bankman freed, free him, either way, whatever it happens, hope he does okay. Um, maybe not, maybe he doesn't, who knows, who gives a fuck. So, moving on from that one, we